Okay, perfect. Hi, I'm Leslie McDonald, and I. This is in my way. Um, I am a professional photographer, and I'm a member of PPA and FPP and JPPG here in Jacksonville. And I earned my craftsman degree through PPA last year doing programs on social media. So then when you guys asked me to do this, I went through my slides and, and I'm actually a bit relieved because I don't have to teach business to you guys. We just get to have the fun. Okay, so I'm, I'm excited about that. And if you have any questions, raise your hands. And, and those of you who are at home, go ahead and text me. Um, my number is 850-566-9474. Yes. Actually, if you have a question, have them put it in the chat. Put them in the chat. And I will. And, and I will, will just ignore it there too. And I will. <laughs> <laughs> I will let them. I will let you know. Okay. Okay. Perfect. All right. So um, now, now Jay gave me this new toy, so I'm still, I'm still learning this toy. All right. Hang on a minute. Are we ready? Okay. Um, so I have a degree in art from, you know, back in the 90s. And then um, I shoot uh, a lot of sports and, and gymnastics. So all the little pictures that you get of the little kids in their baseball and uniforms, I take those on the weekends. And then I live on Instagram. So this Instagram is what is my happy place. So I'm excited to share this with you. So let's talk about the algorithm. So you know that Instagram and, Instagram and Facebook are owned by the same people. And so their algorithm is very similar. Now, the thing with the algorithm is it can change at any moment. And they don't have to give you any type of the, the purpose of the algorithm is to keep you on the platform for as long as possible. So when in doing that, it would have, you know, Instagram and Facebook have evolved over the years. So we now have reels, we have stories, we have ads. You can purchase stuff on, on Facebook. You can upload video, you can do live video. So we're going to kind of touch base on that, on all of that tonight. Um, it predicts what you want to see. So let I, I'm, I have a cat, so I have a lot of cat videos. So I watch a lot of cat videos. It's tracking that. And it's saying, oh, Leslie likes cat videos. Let's send her more cat videos. So it's going to figure out what you want to see. But I also go shopping for handbags. So now it says, okay, she likes cat videos and handbags. So now it's starting to send me ads for handbags. And, I, and your computer, your IP address, all of that's hooked up. So if you've ever like gone out to Amazon and looked at a wrench, you'll notice that that wrench is showing up in your feed in Facebook. Okay, so it's, it's all talking to each other. And if, uh, if you've noticed this week, the algorithm changed again, Apple did something, and it's, it's caused a ripple throughout all of social media, you're going to say these things on your app, it says, this app would like to track your activity. Just say no. Just, just say no. Um, so yeah, that's the new thing that came out last week, and you might be seeing it as you're opening up your apps. So your, this app wants to track your activity. Um, let's see. It decides who gets to see your content. So you might have 300 friends. But, and I'm going to explain this to you a little bit later when I should explain the algorithm in, in more detail. But maybe only 100 people you get to see on a regular basis. Have you noticed the same people are showing up in your feed? And it's the same with them. So you might be uh, friends with Aunt Bessie, and Aunt Bessie is not seeing your posts at all, and even though she's in your friends. So, so I'm going to explain how you can get around that. And then, um, oh, the purpose is to keep you down. All right. So next, oops, you have seen that. All right, so let's say you have a post. When you drop that post, only 3% of the people that you're friends with will see it. If you get good content, and it's, it seems to think it's gonna generate more activity, then it's going to go ahead and open up that circle. You're gonna get, you have to almost think of like a drop in the bucket. Your next ring is gonna get there. So then you're gonna have 600 people looking at it. And then if it starts to go viral, like a thousand, then everyone's gonna pick up on it. And that's when friends of your friends are gonna start seeing your, your content. So, engagement. Um, that would be your likes, when you just hit the likes and that's any, oops, no, not that one. 
That's any of the pack That's any of these right here. That's your engagement. So that's your likes, your hearts, your caring, whatever. Comments. So comments when you're like, oh, this is really cute. Now, if you can get four words in there, it's going to do better than if you put sweet or fun or whatever. But if you put like, wow, this is a really great image of a plumeria with a little emoji on it, it's going to get more attention from the algorithm than if you just put nice. Okay? So more words are going to help that content. So let's say someone co uh, commented on your, your image. Now you reply. So now you go, oh, thank you so much. I had such a great time uh, photographing it. I'm glad you love it. Then they come back and they go, oh, well, you're such a wonderful photographer. Now you have a conversation. Now the algorithm is starting to take notice to you and it's going to start opening up your viewership a little bit more. With the existing um, post or with future posts? Okay, with, no, with this existing post. And that's an excellent question. So for those of you that are at home, she asked, um, will it affect ex the existing post or future post? And it's going to only exist, uh, affect that existing post. Is this the same as Facebook? I'm sorry, what? Do you know if Facebook is the same as this? All right, they're kind of intertwined. I have a six hour social media class that I condensed down to this class. And then I realized you guys are in business business for this. So I pulled all the business out. So we're just going to have fun. Okay. All right. Now you might be saying, why isn't anyone seeing my post? And a lot of it has to do with um, the small percentage of followers that you have are seeing it. They're not engaging in it. So it's not getting anywhere. So it's not uncommon for me to drop a post and see that in six or seven hours, only two people like it. I'll pull it. Um, if you get good engagement, your post will be showing to, to more people. Uh, did you put something that's going to take someone out the platform? Okay, so Instagram and Facebook are connected, but YouTube is not. Okay, so if you have a YouTube video that you have uploaded to Facebook or Instagram, and you now are going to have them click on that link and take them off the, the platform into YouTube, it's not going to get as much exposure because you're taking them off the platform. Or you're saying, here's my link to my website, and it's getting, you're going to take them off the platform. So you're not going to get as much exposure if you're taking them off your platform. Um, did you post in the middle of the night? I am guilty of this. My best friend, okay, my best friend lives in Hawaii. So I visit my best friend as often as I can. And um, so when I visit her in Hawaii, I know that I've got to do my post, you know, in the middle of the morning here, just so it's 6 o'clock p.m., you know, here, it's in the morning there. But if I post something at night, I know it's just going to sit there until everybody, all my friends in Florida wake up. So a lot of it has to do with when you're posting. Also, let's say you're a, a pet photographer. If you post at 5 or 6 o'clock in the morning, that's perfect because pets are up at that time and they want to be fed and let out and walk. So if you're trying to, you know, feed, you know, your, your business to the pet photography, that's perfect. If you're doing seniors or teens, you do it at night because we know that they're nocturnals. I mean, so it just depends on when you're posting, when your audience is on. All right. Um, oh, I don't, I don't have to worry about like baiting for you guys. Uh, that's like when you're saying uh, you, they can do this on, YouTube, when you watch your YouTube, they say, oh, please like the video and hit the subscribe button. But if you do that in Facebook and Instagram, it doesn't like it. So you can't say, please like my video, please share my video, please, you know, you can't ask that. They want it to be a little bit more organic. Um, okay, and also you need to understand your followers. And we kind of hit on this real quickly with the pets, you know, they're in the morning. If you have teenage kids, they're nocturnal. Um, if you post grandkids and your your uh, your engagement explodes, then just start posting more pictures of grandkids, and your exposure on the algorithm will go up. Okay, so how do we get more views to your Instagram and your Facebook? All right, so now you're going to post an image. You're going to post your best image every time. Okay. Um, 
you're going to like your own images. It's okay to like your own post. When somebody makes a comment, always like or heart their post. Again, that's a little a point of engagement. Uh, keep it short. So I know some people, unless if you like started off with Saturday Night Joke, then everybody knows it's going to be a long joke or something like that. But, but some people go through these long tyrants. And when they have to click the word more and that thing opens up to be this long, there's only the people who really love you are going to want to read that, really. Um, then let's say videos and um, those little gifts that you can do with the people dancing, those are popular, those are really hot, so those will always have more engagement. Tag images. So let's say you have Plumeria, and so you tag everybody in this group going, okay, uh, here's, because you guys were just talking about Jerry's Plumeria, I photographed this at Jerry's house. And this is his premiere, and you tag him, you tag a couple of other people, and then they're gonna come when they open up their notifications, they're gonna see you're, you're tagged. And then they're gonna go and they're gonna engage on that picture. So that's one of the ways you can do that. Hashtags. Okay, now here's the interesting thing about technology. When I was putting this in PowerPoint, it came up with all of those icons just by reading what I had in there. The only one I put in there was the taco because it didn't have a hashtag icon. Okay, um, so it, it didn't have a hashtag icon, but the technology is there. It's reading what, we're, what we have and what we're putting on. So all of these icons came up all by themselves. They just appeared. Um, encourage your followers to like and engage. And again, like and, and, and do your comments. Okay, so again, um, do you guys know who Scott Kelby is? He is a fantastic photographer. I got to spend the day with him in one of his classes. He was going on and on about a couple of things, and, and I hope to touch on them. But he said, post only your best work. So you might have this picture, and you might have the other picture where she's doing something, but it's not as good as this picture. Just, just post this one. You know the other one's good, but just post this one, because it's your best one. Uh, again, like a comment, and then go ahead and make it feel important. So this is Courtney. And Courtney is an amazing <laughs> Courtney is an amazing uh, theater uh, rat. And so whenever she lets me photograph her, I always uh, you know sit there and gush about how wonderful she is. Well, then all the other theater kids see her, and then they come back on. She's such a wonderful person. Now I've got lots of engagement because I have mentioned Courtney. Let me stand right here. There, here. Nancy, come right here. Yeah. <laughs> I'm here with my picture. Okay, I merited this image. All right. Okay, what can I post? All right, you've got your images, you've got things that are funny. Remember when these, these women were uh, trending a few years ago? And so certain memes come in and out of popularity. Um, I, anything eye catching. Tips, all right, the tips is more like a business thing, but like, let's say you want to explain to people who are your audience what you do. I photograph flowers. In order for me to photograph flowers, it's helpful to have like a white background, so I use this kind of board. And so it's just like little, little tips like that, that makes you an expert in your field, and they're gonna read that and go, wow, she really knows what she's doing. Quotes, quotes are popular, and they kind of go in and out of fashion, but they've been popular for like, past five or six years. So quotes are always really hot. Um, poll, so you can see right up here, I have a poll. Now looking at that, I knew that the headshot in blue was better than the headshot in pink. But I went ahead and put a poll out there. Why? I asked people what their opinion was. Now they had to give me their opinion. I have engagement. All right, questions, polls, testimonials. If, if uh, someone took, you took their picture and they thought you did a good job, you can ask them to do a testimonial, you can post that. Websites and blogs really good. All right, video. Video is king. Nothing is hotter than video. And I'd like to encourage you guys to do video of yourself. Now, I know what you're thinking. I look like this. Um, you have to get used to photographing yourself and I'll teach you how to do a selfie, and you have to get used to video or having someone video you, and so that your audience will look at your feed and recognize you and see you and say, yes, that's Nancy. I you know, see pictures of Nancy all the time. And, and if you go out to my feed, I have lots of selfies. 
Only Kim Kardashian takes more selfies than I do. And um, I do lots of selfies, but now everybody knows me, and I don't use that much of a filter. I am a little self-conscious about these bags under my eyes, so I might use it right here to touch them up a little bit, but other than that, it's pretty much, this, this is what they get. And you're supposed to keep them for like 30 seconds or something. I'm sorry, what? The video should be short, right? Depends on what you're using it for, okay? Because there, there are reels, there are stories, there's live inside. So there's different kinds of videos. And we're gonna go through that in Instagram. I'm going through this really quickly so that we can actually get into Instagram and I'll show you how to do the fun stuff. All right, so anyway, so these are a lot of things that you can post. Well, now it doesn't wanna work. Okay, it, it's not happy. Interesting. It's locked up. Well, of course it did. Mm -hmm. Okay. We're having technical difficulties, folks. Oh, I think it's having the zoom. The zoom on here is um, making it not happy. Okay, all right, everybody, go out to your Instagram, pull your Instagram out, and look this man up. And here's the funny thing: he doesn't know I do this. I have a, what we call, you know, how you have your celebrity crush. This is my celebrity crush. His name is Randy Van Dyne. And I know Randy, he is a professional photographer, but he is amazing. Oh, I have to. Oh, one of them is Randy Van Dynan and the other one's Randy Van Dynan Architecture. He yes. has two. Which one do you want to see? Um, just go to regular Randy Van Dynan. All right, so if you look at his, his, his feed, I'm going to have to do on my little phone, but I'm going to assume you guys have it there. Randy is a master photographer. He's a bit of an overachiever. Every pixel that's going to be on here is going to be absolutely perfect. But if you go through his feed, you'll have pictures of him, and you'll notice that his feed, as you're going through this, each picture across relates to the other one. Um, he didn't come out here. So, if you keep scrolling, it, like he went to a couple of places and you'll see a picture of him with his tripod, but then if you keep going, you'll see he has staircases, but he has three staircases across, and then he'll have little huts, and he'll have three little huts. But you see how he's got a, a system and a rhythm going, and they're all, they all relate to everybody. We don't expect this from you, but this is the best of the best of the best. This guy is, there's nobody's game that's better than Randy Van Dyne. So this, this is what we all aspire to. All right. Now, now that you're in Instagram, let's go over what all the different parts are. So, um, here you have your Instagram. This little cross little plus here, that's if you're going to make a post. So you hit that. And the back end opens up, and from there, well, now I'm just afraid you're going to post on my phone. <laughs> I was. I was. <laughs> um, but now you can um, you open it up, and your back end is going to happen, and then you can either take a picture right in there. Now remember, this is Instagram, so it wanted you really to be instant. Or you can go through your photography library. So if you've taken this beautiful picture, then you've got to save it to a Dropbox or email it to yourself, and then you've got to go pick it up. There still isn't an easy way to do this. Then you've got to go pick it up and get it into your, your phone or into your iPad, and then you've got to upload it. All right, then this right here, that's your activity. So that lets you know who's watching you, who you're watching. Um, if anyone wants to, like if you have a private account, like I have four accounts. I have my professional account, I have a theater account, I have JPPG, and I have a private account because no one needs to know I have a huge crush on The Rock. Um, so I have a private account, so then if someone wants to be a member of my private account, they're going to contact me through that. 
And then this last little one, the little airplane, that's your direct message. So you might say, hear someone could say, oh, send me a DM. That's a direct message. So what you would do is you would find the person. So like Gwen Stefani got married this weekend to Blake Shelton. She's 51, he's 45, so that confuses me cool. Mm -hmm. um, so she got married this week. So if I thought this was really great, I could open her her uh, post up and I could direct message her and say congratulations. Okay. All right. Then from here, right here, what are these three little dots right here? If you touch those, they're like report this this uh, post, unfollow this post, and mute. There's a difference between unfollow and mute. They can tell if you unfollowed them, but they can't tell if you muted them. I have a friend from my Disney days that I mute every 30 days and she doesn't know. But, um, but so, I mean, it's like, either, there's, a, some, there's some people you just need to mute. So that's, that's where this would come into play. All right, what are these? This tells you that there are three pictures in that post. And then this is a little heart, that's your light. This is your comment. So if you see right here, um, if you were to scroll up, you're going to see some people are going to comment. They're going to hit that, and then they're going to type their comment. And then this is the direct message that you would send to Gwen Stefani. Oh, and this. This is the flag. So let's say you want to save something. Let's say the greatest handbag you've ever seen shows up. If you try to go back and find it again, you won't. You won't. It's like Target. If you don't buy it right then and there, you're going to lose it. Um, so you just hit this little flag, and at a later time, you go out to your profile, and then you hit your flag again, and it'll show you all of the things that you saved. Okay? That's, yeah, I know. You, now you've saved your handbag. All right. All right. Oh, oh, shopping. Okay. You can't, you can't see it down here. All right, so this is your home. This is your feed right here. This is when you search. So remember, we search Randy Van Dynen. You would hit that, and then the, the, the screen would come up, and you would type in Randy Van Dynen. This right here is a little Reels, R-E-E-L. So remember TikTok was to hit the popularity right, right at the beginning of 2020, and we were all watching TikTok because of the pandemic? Well, Instagram and Facebook came up with their own version. They came up with Reels. All right, this is shopping. Right here, so let's say you've had some wine and you just want to go shopping on Instagram and I found that. I have lots of cat toys. Um, you just hit that and you type in what you want to shop for, cat toys. And then all of the vendors that are selling cat toys on Instagram are going to pop up. And then right here, this one is your profile, okay? All right. My friend Dennis Hammond had an Instagram account that was den at Dennis Hammond, and it was hacked into, and he lost it forever. So he lost his business account with Dennis Hammond. So he now had to come up with something else. So I want you to take a screenshot of this so that you can uh, do two-factor authentication for your Instagram account so that no one else will steal your account. Because you might have the best account ever. And if someone goes in there and hacks it, you can't get it back. Okay. All right, profile pictures. So the profile picture is going to show up in a couple of different places, and you want to make it consistent throughout. show up right here and then it's going to come back again right here and you want to make it consistent with Instagram and Facebook and and YouTube actually so let's say you're waiting for a professional headshot but you've got to put something there you can put your company logo there you can put an avatar there now do you I don't know if you noticed but at the beginning of June or in the middle of June we were all cartooning ourselves um, and so this is what my cartoon looks like and we all love it because it takes all the age off. It's, it's kind of us, but without the wrinkles and everything. And I even did Nancy's. I sent Nancy's hurt to her, too. Mm -hmm. um, so anyway, that app is called Voila. Kirk, you know how we like to change our profile pictures? Is that bad? Because, because now, every time you change it, it's going to say, oh, look, she's got a new profile picture. Now, I wouldn't change it every day. 
but maybe, maybe maybe once a week, maybe every two weeks, you know, it's, but not not every day. But from a branding perspective, it's not that. Not, not from a branding perspective, once a month, maybe once a month. But if it's your logo, and then maybe you go back to your picture or something like that. Like I, it, when I have a cute picture of me, I'll post it up and I'll put it there. I'll keep it there for two or three weeks, and then I go back to my professional headshot. Um, and again, when my professional headshot comes up, which was taken by a friend of mine, Kevin, who actually has spoken here, um, then everyone comments on it. So now I have more engagement on that, you know. So it kind of, it can work for your field, but don't, you know, don't change it every day because people are going to get tired of it. Um, so anyway, so for Instagram, you're going to want it to be 180 pixels and 180 pixels, but for Facebook, it's going to be 170, 170. I suggest you go ahead, since we're professional photographers and, 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 we're just gonna push it. Um, I would make it 360, 360 so that your edges are sharper and your resolution is a little bit higher. If you have um, text in your logo, then you really do want to do with a higher definition because if you've noticed if you put a 72 DPI up, it's gonna come in soft and fuzzy. People go, oh no, it's the same. No, it's not the same. You, you, you do a 300 DPI and a 72 DPI, you're going to be able to tell the difference. And the algorithm will kind of sort it out and kind of fix it the way it wants it. Um, or Facebook will, it will turn it into a, a bad JPEG. So now you're just giving it a little bit more information so that you have a little bit more control. And I would use a PNG over a TIFF or a JPEG because you don't have that lost compression. Um, and you just, you just go to Photoshop and you can crop it in square. If you don't have Photoshop, you actually can kind of do it in Word. All right. All right, Instagram posts. So the thumbnails, which are the little squares, your photo size is going to be 180 by 180. So in, in Photoshop, go ahead and make a size that says Instagram thumbnails. And then the feed that you have that's going in right here, these are a four by five. So your ratio is going to be 180 to 135. So again, go into Photoshop and make yourself a template that says uh, four by five. Now, your stories, if you're going to do an image in stories, and we're going to go over stories, it's a lot of fun. Um, it's going to be an um, 180 to 192 because it's long and it's the whole length of the screen. The maximum size file under stories is going to be 46 gig, and that's also for your video which goes into when you ask if the video could be more than 30 seconds. All right, so let's go into your bio real quick. You have two names. You, and you might have heard people say, well, what's your handle? Your handle is going to be right here. right here. This is your handle. So when people uh, tag you, they'll put the little at sign, jpjack underscore jax. And mine would be, um, well, mine's just ridiculously long. Mine's Creative Portraits by Leslie. Um, and then your regular name is going to be here. So on your profile, your handle is up here, and your real name is right here. So you have two names in Instagram. And then you can put your, you can put your, uh, your web page, and you have 150 characters. So you might put, like, I love photographing flowers and sunsets, and you can use little emojis and stuff like that. So um, you can um, put a link to your website, you know, anything like that that's going to help you. But you have 150 characters in your bio to help you get traffic to your website or whatever it is you want them to do. Okay, hashtags. Hashtags are, are how you're going to be searched. They're the new generation yellow book pages. So if you've noticed, when was the last time you've seen a, a yellow book? It's because we're all using the phones and the younger people are using hashtags. So, and you can follow a hashtag. So let's say you want a, the best pet photographer in Jacksonville. Then you do hashtag pet photographer Jacksonville. And I did have someone um, put some hashtags out there. Michael Joseph is a, a pet photographer here in town. I had him do a couple of put things and, and put the hashtag out there so that when you do that, his, his hashtag comes up. So you can create several hashtags. Now, you don't want to waste your hashtag, and this is what I mean. Hashtag blessed. If you put that in there and hit search, you're going to see that there are a million hits for hashtag blessed. 
you're not going to be found in that 1 million hits. But if you put in Jacksonville plumeria, then you have narrowed down your field. And now if someone types in plumeria or Jacksonville plumeria or, or whatever code words you want, um, you have narrowed down your field. So that's what I, you have 30 hashtags to work with. That's what I mean by don't waste your hashtags. Um, another waste might be uh, hashtag professional photographer. Again, 1.5 million hits, you're gonna be lost about 1.5. Uh, hashtag Jacksonville professional photographer. There's only a couple of hundred of us here. So you, you know, you've got a smaller pool. You're a bigger frog in a smaller pool. All right. Um, use hashtags that are going to be relative to your audience. Like again, we were talking about flowers and plumerias and stuff like that. So anything that, and you have 30 to work with. So you can, you have a lot. Now you can store them. And my next slide is how to automate them. Um, you can store your hash tags, and then that way you just do a copy paste or I'm going to show you how to automate them. That way you're not typing out this entire list every single time. Okay. Now my husband is uh, not home. So I wasn't able, it's been, it's been about six months since I've had to pull this uh, slideshow out. So I wasn't able to test it. So th these directions were accurate six months ago. And this is how to take a screenshot of this. This is how to automate your hashtag. So this works for the iPhone that I know. I'm not 100% concerned or I didn't test the Android today, but if it has changed, it hasn't changed that much. So what now when you're in your Instagram and let's say your code or your, your symbol or whatever it is that you're going to use, it will be like hashtag Instagram shortcut hashtag, which is a heck of a lot shorter than all of that that I had up there or whatever, you know, hashtag one, two, three. Um, when you type, when you test it, you type in hashtag one, two, three hashtag, then the whole thing is going to populate with all of your hashtags. It's, it's called a macro and, and they're a lot of fun to build. Any questions? Yes. So are you using your phone only opposed to Instagram? You can use your iPad. Can you use a uh, computer? No, it does not like the computer. In, instant, the word being instant. So it wants you to run out all over the world, <coughs> excuse me, and do it instantly. There used to be where developers, only developers, they all go to one Yes, and there was also a, a plugin for Lightroom, and they figured out how to shut that down. They, yeah, there was a plugin for Lightroom worked for like three weeks and then they shut it down. They figured that out. They're, they have a little bit more control over that stuff and they are, they're constantly shutting stuff. We used to not be able to schedule posts. Now it doesn't like it, but you can schedule posts. And you now can schedule your stories. That's a, a relatively new uh, feature that came up in 2021 is scheduling your stories. So your, your photographs when you are on YouTube, yeah, it's a hassle. So um, you you finish your images in Photoshop. You up I upload it to my Dropbox, and then I go in from my phone into my Dropbox, and and then download it to my phone. What's the difference to your story and post? Very good question. All right, now we're going into stories. All right, so you see these little circles right up here? Right here? Those are your stories. That's where the fun is. The stories are there for 24 hours, unless you archive them, and we can show you how to archive them. So if you go out to my Instagram, which is Creative Portraits by Leslie, I did, hold on. I did a post about my new favorite cafe that just opened up around the corner. In the parking lot of Peterbrook and, and Poe's is uh, La Petite Paris, and they just opened up there in, in June. So I did a post and I did it in stories and I decorated the post. And so now it has like a, a croissant on it and the, and the flag, and then it has like a little happy side and then it has the picture and it has text and you can decorate it. You can put little videos in there. You can ask questions. You can tag another person or a vendor 
or maybe you don't want to show that you've tagged them, you can hide it underneath the picture if you want to. I mean, there, there's lots of little tricks to get around that. So stories is the fun thing. That's, this is what I love most about Instagram is stories. And in order to show engagement, this is my secret. I will open up my Instagram and I will run stories. And so here's my story. I will run stories and I'll just let the whole thing run while I'm doing errands or brushing my teeth or something like that. And Instagram doesn't know that I'm not sitting there the whole time watching it, but it's just running through each and every story. I hope nothing's inappropriate. And, you get more and, I, and Instagram is seeing that, oh, she's engaging because she's watching all the stories. So it's watching your engagement. Okay, so now, um, let me see. All right, so like, this is Teresa and she jump ropes every day. And so she uploads a video with music of her jump roping every day. Yes. When you do that, just stay in front of the camera a little bit more. So people can, yeah. What I'm saying when you're holding it up, just kind of hold the thing. Oh, you want them to see it? So, yeah. Oh, okay. This is Teresa. All right. And then, um, here, here, this was the post that I posted about uh, La Petite Paris, which is around the corner. Okay. See what? Okay. So the red means you haven't watched it yet. When it turns clear, it means you've watched it and there's nothing new that you haven't seen yet. All right, so you can use your hashtags inside your story. So now you're searchable. You can make announcements. You can work on collaborations. If you've made a post, so the post is what you, is, is what you put here in your feed. So right here are your posts. These stay there forever. Your stories are up here and they show up here and they go away after 24 hours, unless you archive them. And, and, and why would you want to do that? Because when we do that, we go out to another. You have these things right here called highlights. And you can think about this, it's like, oh, I can put all of my flower pictures. So all of my posts that I did um, in stories, I can put them here and these are my flowers. These are my beach shots. These are my sunsets. These, you know, these are my landscapes. So you can uh, think of it as a little brochure or a little category for each of your posts. And where is that? Okay, so here is, you look, here's your profile. Now, if you don't have one, it's not going to show up. But you go to someone who would have one. So I have JPPG underscore Jacks. So when you go down here, you can look at someone else's uh, highlights. I'm going to see. Okay. <laughs> okay, so I'll put the person through me. Okay, so you don't have a highlight yet. So find someone who does. So now you can take your stories and you, uh, you can see with JPPG, I did highlights of the salon that we did in, I believe in 2018, and I put them all there. So I ran them through the stories, I archived them, and I put them in highlights. All right. 
But you're coming back next month to help us after we try to. You know, I was going to say, um, if you guys want me to come, like, I'm available this Saturday and Sunday. I'm not doing anything. We could meet up somewhere. And, um, and we can just sit down and kind of knock a couple of these out together. I'm perfectly open to that. Okay, so one of my favorite ones is Disney Food Blog. And so you can see with Disney Food Blog, they've got like the food at Walt Disney World, the food at Disneyland. And so if you hit their highlights, they're gonna, you're going to see what their stories were. Okay, so take a screenshot of this, and this is going to be the instructions on how to highlight. How to highlight. Someone on, on Zoom needs to mute. All right, so you're going to go into your archive and you're just going to tell your archive that you want to save your highlights and they'll be there until you take them off or you delete them. And then, um, you, or you're saving your stories, excuse me, and your stories will be there until you delete them. And then you can use them as your highlights so that you can put all of your categories together. Did everyone get this page? Okay. So go to settings, which is, um, so first of all, you go to your profile, which is this bottom one down here. And then you go up to settings. And here's, so you, did you see me press the three bars? Yes. And then, um, so everything hidden is in the three bars. Then you go to settings. Well, actually, I think they moved it again. Oh, right under settings, it says archive. All right, so here's the archive. And I don't have, I don't have anything in here because I don't have internet connection. It's just working off what's pretty download. So if you go into your controls and you go into settings and you go into archive, it'll ask you yes or no, and you say yes. Are we there? Okay. All right, let me do it on my, on my phone because my phone has connectivity. Well, and part of it is mine are saved, so mine aren't going to be the same as yours. All right. I go to settings. Okay, they moved it. Hold on. That they moved it again. Okay. So underneath settings is the word archive. If you hit that, does it ask you yes or no? Yes. And there are a couple places you could do this. I know someone found a different way to do it. Yeah, because mine are archived. It doesn't ask me. That's I needed to find it. I need to find an account that isn't. Okay. All right. Now, after you have told the system to save your your stories. So you told it to save all your stories. That's what you just did. You do what? When you used to do that, the whole thing you brought back when you told it to save all your stories? Yes, you wanted to save your stories. So, let's see. So, you're not going to archive everything. Oh, you do that.
your audio is out. video stream on my other one I'm going to show you what's going on at home Oh, 
Why didn't you ask him? Hey, yeah. on, Mikey, I gotta get him dinner. So this couple, Just get him a plain cheese pizza then. And it wasn't in a full it was so gone. And they dressed us for every holiday. Everything are all lined around us. You buy it after this. Okay, we are to All right, so Danny, you got the How are you going to make it look like Okay, um, uh, I'm going to do it. Okay, 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 I'm going to do and then um, in August, we have a flea market. Everyone's more than welcome to come to that. And then uh, we, all the, the people bring their, um, their camera gear. So because they're looking for reflectors and like But we're also going to have some professionals. I have a tax guy coming. I have a, a financial you know, 401k coming. I have a masseuse coming. And uh, well, you know, because after you've been shooting all day and all these years and everything like that, I don't know about you, but my hips start burning. Mm -hmm. And um, so, yeah, I, I need exercises to help, you know, loosen up my hips and my back. And so I can have a suit type of thing. So, it was one Thursday Okay, it will be the fourth Tuesday in August. So, it's not the last Tuesday. It's the fourth Tuesday. It's the 24th. Yeah, and we're in the spot. I'm definitely going to post inside the group. Well, I just the last one I don't want to go to my wife's on the last Tuesday. It was a Tuesday. Yeah. 
And then we have these knees coming, and she is going to be selling ties and oh. things and things where you can eat them there. So it's going to pass your time so that they can be taken home. Well, they just come in. Yeah, they just come in. They just come in. Oh, that's what I want. What time is it? Um, we did about six or nine. About six. Six or nine. Just like you just said. Okay, so they don't have any problems. They have a picture on their Instagram. When they get in their Instagram, I know that the crap online is a crap online. How is everybody doing online? Okay. How is everyone doing online? Oh, do I need to light myself? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Monster lighting. Um, One of the other things you could do if you want yes. is uh, Instagram up and share this screen and then anything you do here. You whatever you want to do. Whatever you think, whatever you want to do. Whatever everybody else is. Okay, so we understand stories and the fun of the stories. You understand that you're archiving your stories so that you can make your highlights. And then I showed you guys how to do a boomerang in your stories. Now your stories will stay there for 24 hours and then they'll drop off. And then once they drop off, you can always bring them back, but just know that they're gonna be there for 24 hours. All right, and you can hook up your Facebook and your Instagram. So if you post on one, you can post on the other. All right, so, um, Let's talk about live. I don't like Facebook Live and I don't like Instagram Live because you have to be 100% prepared. And I don't, in 2018, I tried to be an influencer and it was, a, it was a lot of work. I mean, it was a lot of work and I spent hours making videos and, and, and no one watched them. Um, <laughs> So, it, it, you know, I, and I did get like somebody saying, hey, you know, I did get a sponsor. But then I learned how that works. So how that works is you buy the product, then you get a 50% discount, and then you encourage all of your followers to buy a product using that code. And whatever they purchase using that code, you get a, sm a very small percentage of it. So I basically was their, their representative or their dealer or something like that. For and the scheme? For what? The pyramid scheme? Well, no, I mean, I, I didn't have to give them too much. I mean, I, yeah, I got a 50% off of the product, but I didn't do it. I didn't do it because I just, I thought about it as it's like, I didn't want to be known for that, for endorsing products. I wanted to be known as a photographer, a serious photographer. Um, or a, a hack, a sassy hack. Um, so anyway, so that's how the, uh, the influencers are working. So they, they get you to buy the products with their codes and then they get a percentage off of that. So where well, I was going somewhere with this. Oh, so live. So the thing with live is once it's out there, you can't take it back. So if you stumble, if you say things wrong, if you swear, if something falls down behind you, once it's live, you can't take it off. Okay. So that's why I don't like to go live. I'm, something's something's going on with my nose. Hold on one second. Mm-hmm. Can you always do live? Okay, did you tell it to enable all of your pictures? I don't know what happened. And I have to start. So we've got, well, where's your pictures? You know, but I don't want to do it. Okay, so we have to go to the camera roll. We'll give it a few minutes. So, and that also brings into how do I video? Do I video this way or do I video this way? And it depends on how you're going to use the video and you're going to have to think about that. So if you're going to use it on Instagram or in your stories, you're going to do it this way. But if you're going to use it on YouTube or on Facebook, in your post in Facebook, you're going to do it this way. Have you ever noticed when you've gone and done a video that the video is here and then it kind of has this shadowy back? That's because they did it this way and it had to fill the space. 
and your videos will appear larger and more close up if you do it horizontally. Okay, let's also talk about when you go, oh, I have a, hold up, I have a selfie thing. And we're gonna go over selfies in a second. So let's say you go outside. Have you ever noticed when someone's video or doing a video outside and you've got that wind? It could be completely still, but the slightest amount of atmosphere that's gonna go over that microphone, it's gonna pick it up. So in the industry, they have something called a dead cat. And you might have seen it. It's a big fuzzy ball that you would put over a microphone. So you can get like little microphones that attach on, or they're a little bit expensive, but you get 24 of them in a pack. And if you go on Amazon, they're like these little mini round circles made out of fuzz, and then they have uh, like a sticky thing. And you're thinking, I'm not paying $24 for that. Well, I, I went to Joanne's and I did the math and I amount of time and it, it was just easier just to spend the $24. Um, then you get the, these little tiny uh, fuzzies, these little tiny miniature muffs or, or puffs, um, and you stick them on the microphone so that when you're videotaping with your cell phone or with your camera, the wind doesn't hit across the microphone and make that shh wind sound. Also, you can get little tiny um, tripods for these so that you can hold them like this, or you can, you can get the Joby ones that have the, the arms that you can wrap, like, so like I would take it and I would wrap it around this and it would hold it. And so you can get the Joby little uh, tripods that, that will go either way. And the selfie light. Now, it's the same light, only one person makes it, but everybody has purchased it and put their name on it. So it doesn't matter if yours says emoji on it, it doesn't matter if yours says Canon on it or whatever, but you get these little lights and I carry them in my purse and they go uh, up to different degrees. Because I'm a little older, I'm, I'm 58, I have wrinkles. So whenever I take a selfie, I am constantly searching for the best light. And if I don't have it, I'm not above putting this on so I can flat light myself and put it right here so that the wrinkles disappear so that <laughs> I'm not above doing that. And, and I'm noticing I'm, it, it's getting a little tougher to get to do, put my selfies out there. So yeah, I, I started using this just so I just have that, just that little bit that doesn't uh, make my little uh, bags uh, pop out. And, hold on one second, there we go. It will work with your video and they're really cheap. And I just keep this in my purse and whenever I need that extra little light, I'll just pop this on. And then uh, let's see, we've got the selfie light, we've got a tripod, we've got the muff, we've got the dead cat microphone. So if you're gonna microphone yourself, go ahead and mic yourself here or in your hair if you're doing like a, a, like a big thing, like, a, like if you're going to do a demonstration or something like that, go ahead and mic yourself in your hair or like, like in under here. So it'll pick up in this whole area right here. He's done still having problems with his Instagram, aren't you? I'm probably gonna try it. Okay. <laughs> I was going to say, text me, and, and, and we'll put a, a text thread together, and we will figure out when we can meet this weekend somewhere, and, and I'll sit down with everybody, and we'll kind of just do this together, okay? All right. All right, so, um, so anyway, video is going to get you more, uh, more engagement on your Instagram. Also, I encourage photographers, Instagram is just photo based. It's my happy place because you can really curate your Instagram feed on who you're watching. And, and it can really, you, you just sit there for hours watching all your favorite people and, and what their stories are and what their posts are and things like that. So you can curate what you see on your Instagram. So that's why I, I use it as my happy place. Yes. So if I'm following someone, does it mean that they necessarily follow me? Doesn't mean they necessarily, Gwen Stefani has no idea who I am. So, um, but she can see, she can see I'm following her. And if you've noticed, if you go out to Gwen Stefani, um, you'll see that there's a blue little circle with a check mark in it. That means that someone at Instagram or Facebook has made sure that this is really Gwen Stefani. Because you'll go out there and you'll see, oh, there's seven Gwen Stefani accounts or like Gwen Stefani 1, Gwen Stefani 8, you know, which one is her? It's the one with the little blue circle with the white check. Somebody has verified that that is really Gwen Stefani. Okay. And so, yeah, so you can curate it. And I always encourage photographers to use Instagram as a portfolio piece. So I have, I have the JPPG, which is the Guild, 
I have Leslie Evans creative or Leslie creative portraits by Leslie and then I have a theater one I used to uh, photograph theater in Tallahassee and so when I would go to the directors I would pull up my Instagram and I would show them because I photographed 30 productions I would show them my portfolio I'd go here's my portfolio this is what I can do for you for free if you'll let me um, and so I encourage you to use it as a portfolio piece yes 15 minutes. Any other questions? Uh, there was one that was called Reel. Was just... Reels. Okay. So you remember TikTok. It's a huge time sink. You'll get on TikTok and an hour and a half later you'll go, where did the time go? But it's extremely entertaining. So uh, Facebook and Instagram saw that this was happening on TikTok and so they came up with Reels. And so Reels is essentially the same exact thing. Okay, and it's going to take me longer than 15 minutes to teach you guys how to do it. But if you, again, if you guys want to meet this weekend somewhere, um, I'm totally open to coming out and then we can, we can do this. And like I said, I, I have, I've tried to condense a six hour program down into an hour and a half. Okay, now let's go over how to take a selfie. Can I ask you one thing before you do that? What? Can I ask one thing? Absolutely. So on the stories before we leave those, if you see a story and, and you want to, you kind of like or comment and just everybody see that you're liking or comment. Okay, yes. All right, well, for the last two years, there's been this vicious rumor that they're taking likes away. And they keep saying it's being integrated. I can still see the likes. So I don't know if that's happening. I don't know if some people are integrated. They say that the business ones are being you can't see the business ones but i have a business account so i don't know about the likes hold on one second um so yes they can see who you like you can see what everybody else likes um again uh let's just go out to instagram real quick okay buzz uh buzzfeed tasty they're a food they're a food place and they cook food in like, you know, 30 seconds, they'll cook something fabulous. Um, but if you look down below, you'll see that it has over a million reviews. And then you can start looking at, okay, so this one, they didn't take the, the lights off. But I was really talking about the top things. The, um, the stories like this that you posted, this favorite cafe. Oh, okay. yes. So if I like this. Oh, yeah, you can't really get it. You can't do anything. Yeah, you're not really. Except for see it. Or comment on it. Like you saw the little airplane. So you can put it, like, you can click the little airplane and send me a direct message or a DM. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, so, yeah, so on some of these, you can tell that they uh, took the light off. And, and, okay, so here, this Jets Candy, I can see that there's 3,000 likes. But some of them that have the likes on, some of them may not. So uh, here's uh, when Stefani. She, it was liked by uh, 600,000 people. So you can see who likes it. And you, if you wanted to, you could hit that 600,000 and you could go through the whole, you see how it's time consuming? Yeah, because you're going, oh, who's commenting on this? Oh, he's going to on this weekend. Um, you what? No, it's not like, it's not very interesting. Oh, I know, I know. And, and we really shouldn't be carried, but, oh, okay, I follow, I follow this farmer in Pennsylvania. And he's always, having some sort of farm issue he relates to relationships. I mean, you know, the things that you find out here. Okay, so. You what? Jeremy Clark's in the spot. Yes. Okay, so we've gone over stories, we've gone over highlights. Um, oh, how self to take a selfie. How to take a selfie. Okay, like I said, no one takes more selfies. The only person that takes more selfies is Kim Kardashian. So, um, this is a pop socket. And they're like 15 bucks and you can get them anywhere. You can get them with any design. You can have them printed up for yourself. So you hold it like this, if you can. If you can, then just go ahead and grab your phone. You grab your phone with your finger like this. You have to excuse me, I dislocated my paint, so I'm not real strong on this one. Um, so, you, so that you can sit there and you can take pictures with your phone. Now, I always used to do it like this. I used to do it like this, and it always looked like I was photobombing my own images. And so my sister, my daughter had to pull me aside and explain to me how to do that. <laughs> so what you do is you put it out here, so you're now out here, and now you're a lot thinner because you're not like this. <laughs> okay, 
now like this. You see that? Okay. Now, if you're like me and you've got a little weight on you, what you want to do is you, your camera is right here. You're always looking at your camera. You're not looking here. You're looking in the camera. So you have to make a conscious effort to look at the camera. You take the camera and you put it straight up to your nose like this. And again, if you're like me with a little weight, you kind of keep moving up until all the weight disappears. And you've got a really good angle. There we go. Got it? Okay. So now, so now you've got some, and you're going to notice this angle up here looks really good. And, and here's the thing with guys, guys don't get it. So when guys do selfies, they do them down here and you can always see the chin. So John, you're going to be so good. You're going to go, oh, look, 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 look at this. Because now yeah, you know how to get a selfie. Okay. All right, for those, can they see me? All right, for those doing selfies, again, here's the camera on your cell phone. And you take it and you put your nose straight out like this. And then you keep moving up until you hit an angle that you like. And then you take the picture right there. Now, let's talk about finding light. <laughs> There's a trick to finding light, okay? So when, if you put your hand out, you see the wrinkles on the back of your hand? What you do is you look until it basically you have flat lighting. But you look until you, you have lighting on your hand that looks really good. And you're thinking, okay, the light is right here, looks really good. And then that way you know this is where you're going to take your picture because the lighting is going to look really good. Or, <laughs> You get your selfie light. I've got 10 minutes. Okay, so, and you've got your selfie light. And here, I've got my, I've got my own light. So it doesn't matter where I am, I'm going to look good because I brought my own light. Again, Amazon selfie light. They, I saw one in Ulta by EFL. Elf. Um, any, only one person makes it. Look at her. Look at her. I love it. Um, with the little bunny ears. Um, <laughs> They're like anywhere from nine to fourteen dollars, um, depending on where you get it, and the battery lasts a long time. Okay, so um, you, and now let's talk about this right here. I've got it. We all have it. So when you do your selfie, you're you're now you're now turning your body away from you, and you're going to stick your head out a little bit to get rid of all of this right here, and you're going to look so much better. Yes, yes, I see you guys doing it. Okay. <laughs> And again, play with your angles. Perfect. And then once you've got your selfie, if you feel like you edit, need to edit it, um, there, is, there are several editing, but I like one called Snapseed, and it's free. Keith Bartholomew told me about it. And um, Snapseed is almost like Photoshop in your phone. So I like Snapseed because it has a portraiture uh function and it's like it's like a, a, a an action you just you hit it and it does it you're done <laughs> then you go back to your image and you crop it so nine times out of ten you're going to need some sort of crop and then you go ahead and post it all right giveaway time i have pembroke peanut butter chocolate uh covered popcorn and dark chocolate and the other one in milk chocolate. So what I would like you guys to do is, here's the, the I've got two of these. Okay. Um, what I'd like you to do is open up your camera roll and go down to albums and go all the way down under videos it says selfies. Who has more than a thousand selfies? Okay, who has 700 selfies? All right, who has 500 selfies? I'm waiting for you to just get down to two All right, who, really? Come on, you guys. Who has 300 selfies? All right, who has more than 12? Okay, 84. Anyone here? What? Okay. Open up your camera. Okay. 
So, okay, you've got 46. Oh, so, wait. 76. What do you mean? 84. Okay, does anyone win? Does everybody not have to Text me or post me in the Facebook group or something, and we'll get together this weekend. Usually Sunday afternoon seems to be pretty simple. Oh, I don't know what the hurricane is doing. Is it a hurricane? Is it a storm? I don't know. 850. 566 Okay. Now, I'm going to I'm asking you guys to to text me the pictures that you've taken of me so that I can post them tonight. Um oh. And, 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 and don't, don't post horrendous ones with me, please. Why don't we take a whole bunch out of you? Do what? Let's all get up and do the Okay, let's all get up and do the exercise. We've got two minutes. We're going to need someone to take a picture. Come on, everybody. Come on, everybody. Come on, everybody. Thank you guys. Oh, I know. 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 I know
All right, everybody. Thank you very much. We're going to have to. It's time. It's time to close down. Thanks, everybody. I'm on.